stepping in, Leonard Inouye. And we are ready for some Leading daytime the baseball. The second baseman, Leonard Inouye. Here comes the first pitch. First pitch, 107. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Grounded up the first baseline, but this will wind up a foul ball, strike two. Oh, and a nice changeup that time gets him to swing right through it as the leadoff man is down on strikes to open up the ball game. Wow, he's not messing around right here. Three pitches, three strikes, sit your backside down. Scouts just love a guy that's willing to go right after a hitter, and that's exactly what he did there. I see a lot of scouts in the stands nodding their heads, liking what they see, and I don't blame them. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Very nice afternoon, high skies and 77 degrees at game time. And he fouls this one off. And a fastball blew it right by him and there are two down. This is what we call a challenge fastball. Scouts love to see a guy with enough confidence and arm strength to just reach back and fire a heater past the hitter. That's the hitter. No analytics or data is as important as some old school mano o mano. The scouts will eat that one up. And a good heater as he just watches this baby, a ball and a strike. Yeah, I get it. They want to run this guy's pitch count up, but that was a pretty good pitch to hit. He might be kicking himself that he didn't swing at that one. Fouled away. Grant isn't really known as the kind of starter that goes deep into games. It's not that he isn't capable, I'm sure. He just hasn't been that guy that works deep into games with regularity. Matty V, I'm not sure it's this guy's fault, but I think it's more the fault of the metrics and the way we look at pitchers now, trying to limit the number of pitches and the number of appearances they have with particular guys in the lineup. Curveball got him swinging for the first out. Wow, that's the kind of stuff that. Into his windup, here comes the 1 0. A ball and a strike. 1 and 1. Still looking for our first hit in the ball game. And he two and two is the count. Oh, and this is swung on and missed. Four strikeouts already, and that's out number two. Yeah, and that's a great job of keeping him off balance right there. He sits him down with a very nice off-speed pitch, and that has to impress the scouts in the stands. Most young hurlers depend on spotting their fastballs, but he's showing right there that he has an effective off-speed repertoire as well. Into his windup, here comes the 1 0. And it's fouled away. The 1 1 home. Takes a pitch for strike pitch. You can't allow this guy to walk. Another payoff pitch. And he can only battle for so long as he's finally set down here after an eight pitch at bat. And that's just an excellent job of attacking the batter, the entire at bat right there, eventually finishing him off for the strikeout. I don't care what he does the rest of this showcase, he just shows he knows how to mix his pitches, keep hitters off balance, and finish him when he has the chance. G Man Grant will be on the mound for the away team in this one. Dan Plezak, what's the word on him? This guy has a three pitch mix and he needs all three of his pitches. If he has them all working and uses them properly he has a chance to be very effective. Two out nobody on. And the fastball hitting 93 on the gun it's one and one. One of the best ways to keep a guy uncomfortable is to pound him inside. They're doing that and this one caught the zone. A ball and two strikes to count now with the bases empty and two away. 
only one strike away from throwing a very strong first. And we'll have to leave it there. there. A nice pitch here, and the hitter can do nothing but roll over it for an easy out. It'll be interesting to see if he can finish as strong as he started this thing. Scouts like what they've seen so far. Fernando Cabrera is in with one away now as he swings and misses here. It's the hitter. Looking for the strikeout. Here's the 0-2 pitch. Now a swing and a miss here as he's down on strikes. So it's two up, two down to begin the third. Wow, he's not messing around right here. Three pitches, three strikes, sit your backside down. Scouts just love a guy that's willing to go right after a hitter, and that's exactly what he did there. G-Man Grant is on the mound for game two. Dan Plezak, what's the word on him? Hey, we're looking at a guy that knows how to pitch. Last year, his ERA was just under 3.5 for the season, and I would imagine going into the offseason, he's looking to better that, and hopefully he gets off to a good start. We'll see if that starts in this one today. Here's Kyle Saul, Leading and we are set for baseball here this evening. Kyle. Here comes the first pitch. Four contests. Yeah, Maddie, they've been playing some quality baseball. The first four games of this homestand, they've taken three. Really nice stretch of baseball. They'd love to win this one here today and keep that roll going. Oh, and a big curveball swung on and missed, and the leadoff man is retired to start out the game. Now in the box, Gabriel Moreno, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. Bases are empty, one man out. Now a big fastball, and he's well behind it with the swing. Now a swing and a miss, he struck him out, and it's two up, two down to start the second. That's a pretty sad attempt at hitting a baseball right there. No doubt he was completely fooled because that was a curveball and it looked like he was late on a curveball. One and oh the count. The hitter. Bases are empty here with two men out. The hitter. Got him swinging and that will end the inning. Into the box, Nash Knight. Hey. He looks at a fastball that's Nash. in there for strike one. Knight. A runner at second, nobody out. The hitter. Working for the punch out and the offering. Now a swing and a miss as he find picks. a way to take advantage of the count. One and two one now. Ball, two strikes, the count. One out and a runner on second base. And this is swung on and missed his fifth strikeout already. And there are two gone in the inning. Now after back-to-back -back strikeouts, he's got a real good chance of making that leadoff double pretty much meaningless. He's made some good pitches, and these hitters have really failed driving him in or at least getting him over. Standing in, Kerry Chow, a base hit in his first trip. The center fielder, Kerry Chow. Pitch on the way. Ah. Cold strike on the outside part of the plate, 0-2. No ball, two strikes. Now the fastball is right by him as he swings and misses for the first out of the inning. Man, I love watching a pitcher that just rears back and blows smoke by a guy at the letters. That's the ultimate challenge pitch. And for me personally, watching hitters swing and miss, man, that's a sight of beauty. So here's the cleanup hitter, Kevin Smith, comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. The hitter still the best pitch in the game. 
into the windup. Here comes the 0 and 1. The hitter. It's full now. 3 and 2. These are the kind of ABs, regardless of the outcome. You go back to the duck. Three. Got him looking, and that'll do it. The inning is over. All ready to go in the top of the fifth. And next Three to hit is the catcher, one. Gabriel Moreno. Gabriel Moreno. Here's the first pitch to him. The hitter. The 0 1 on its way. A swinging the hitter. The 0 2 once more. And he struck him out. Strikeout number eight now in the ballgame for him. He's just bringing up strikeouts left and right. But what's really impressive to me, he hasn't walked anyone either. He's just pounding the zone. His stuff is dirty today. At the plate, now Logan Warmoth. The designated hitter. The 0 1. 24 years of age. He was selected in the first round back in 2017. Hey, this guy hasn't reached the big leagues yet, but he's coming. You're going to know his name at some point. He just got a few more developmental things to work on. So he punches him out looking at the fastball. Logan Warmoth becomes the second out here in inning number five. Standing in now, now Mac James. Yes, he'll take a change up here for strike one. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Yeah. Edge of the zone that time taken and ruled a strike. Hey, back to back, same pitch, same spot. Don't be shocked if he goes right back out there. If I'm a hitter. That's where I'm sitting. Everyone would think he wants to go somewhere else. He might end. I question the pitch selection. You, you know, sometimes as a pitcher, you don't want to give a good hitter the same pitch back to back to back. Three Corner with that pitch, but it's one and one. The one two is a wave and a miss. He struck him out. He put up a pretty good battle at the plate right there. They finally get him on a one and two pitch, but you could see that he wasn't laying down without a fight. He really made the pitcher earn that strikeout. To throw that first run up on the board, and that's exactly what they did. A little crooked number, a two spot, a baseball recently. Now the two one. And he'll finally just wear him down as this one swung on and missed for the first out. That swing tells me he was really trying to get a pitch out front and rip it down the line, but that wasn't a great pitch to do it on. It's really not the best two strike. He's definitely off to a fast start in the early part of the season. And the fastball hitting 93 on the gun. It's one and one. And now a pitch on the way. And he finds a way to catch the zone here. It's one and two. One out, nobody bend out of danger. You know, we'll see him work both sides of the plate with his curveball. Maybe not that far in, but he'll move that pitch around the zone to give it a different look. Now another 2-2. Two -two. He takes strike three called back to back strikeouts here to open the home first two away. The main job of the number one and two hitters is to set the middle of the order up with an opportunity to do some damage. So when you strike thing in store boy what looked like such an easy and a promising Static easy four. inning for the pitcher now he has hitter. to deal with the hitter up in the zone. You can see he struggled with that curveball early. He's trying to find that release point with his off speed pitches. Love we'll to see if he can find the feel for that thing One moving ball, forward. One ball and two strikes to count. He got him. Lively fastball that time, and it puts the hitter. Settling in now, Dylan Hardy. In yesterday's game, he was responsible for the only run driven in by his club. Hey, we're still in the early stages in this one. They're only down by a couple of runs, but it's really key for this leadoff guy to try to get on and get a big inning started. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Now 
a swing and a miss as he picks up another one. Make it four strikeouts already, and there's your first out. Well, his stuff looks electric coming out of the gates in this one, guys. That's five batters faced, four strikeouts. That's going to be a tough pace to keep up, but it looks like he has what it takes to work deep into this game. Into the box now, Eric Abe. As he'll watch a first pitch. lucky if you get one pitch a night right down the middle cannot be late on that fastball and this is swung on and missed his fifth strikeout already and there are two gone in the inning it's always nice to keep a guy that has good wheels off base and that's just what they did right there big strikeout keep that guy off the base path ready now Dillman Hardy he was a strikeout victim in his first try yeah, but it was a good change up, Matty. Good arm action on that pitch. Look for him to try and stay back a little bit more. Let the ball get a little deep. The hitter. Some serious T work if he can't put that pitch in play right in his wheelhouse. The hitter. The wind up and the 0 2 pitch. Fastball, strike three called as he couldn't pull the trigger, and there are two away. Didn't mess around much in that at bat, Dan. No, that was pretty impressive, Matt. I really like a pitcher that trusts and works off his fastball. Right there, he decided this one. Digging in to try it again, Michael Osinski, as we move past the halfway point in this one and begin the bottom of the fifth. This one doesn't look good so far. Down by a boatload as we enter the middle uh -huh. innings. It's about time they get something going, and the last thing you want to do is fall behind where you have to score a bunch in the eighth and ninth inning. Here's a fastball to hitter. Swing and a miss as he ran the fastball right by him for the first down. Man, this guy's on his game today, not only when he's throwing strikes, but how about the amount of strikeouts? What's even more impressive, no walks up to this point. So he's pounding that zone with strikes, and he's making these hitters swing the bat.